Mo's Garage. All right, so once I figured out what uh, what I needed to do, um, I was able to get uh, the cutoff saw set up in an angle where I was able to uh, make the cuts as I needed to. And uh, I gotta say that uh, went surprisingly well. Everything uh, was nice and square. And uh, once I got that done on both sides, that uh, worked out pretty good. I just cut the, uh, the sleeves with that uh, inch and a half now. And now uh, we'll get ready to put things together. Now I had to deburr the inside of this because uh, there's a seam where it comes together right there that sticks up about a sixteenth of an inch and uh, in order for that sleeve to slide in there I had to grind that thing down but hey it worked out pretty good and we made it work. Alright so I got all those sleeves uh, cut out here and uh, I've kind of ground down the inside. You know the inside of these things when they put it together when they, when they, they actually make the square tube they've got a lip on the inside where it's joined together and uh, that lip, I, I had to get that thing sanded down or grinded down flat in order for these things to fit in here. But anyways, I think I got it accomplished. So we'll stick these things in. All right, well, the seam was actually on the frame part, not the sleeve, obviously. But uh, I think you guys uh, get the point. Everything went together really well right here. But uh, once I got everything ground down. All right. 23 inches. That's exactly what we need. 23 inches. All right. Well, there it is. Now all you got to do is get this thing uh, welded up, get it ground down, and then obviously, since uh, I've got the plate to cut out, we're going to do some plasma cutting to get everything fit the way it should. So let's do it. Well, I gotta say everything went surprisingly well considering, and I do realize that this door is going to be an inch shorter than the other door, but in all reality, you're never going to really notice it. And if I didn't tell you about it, you'd never notice it either. But uh, all in all, we, uh, we got her done, and uh, we're just going to move forward. Okay, so I've went ahead and uh, ground everything down and I, I, I ground down and smoothed off three sides of this but I left the inside weld on there uh, that's really irrelevant it's going to be to the inside there's going to be plate on the top of this uh, but the other sides because if I got clearance issues and it's got to sit flat on the angle arm when it's uh, sitting down in the hole so we're finally back to square one we got an inch shorter you really can't even tell everything's nice and square so now we can carry on get the diamond plate on here and get this project finished up. Let's do it. Okay, so I got my straight edge on here. Uh, we're ready to go ahead and make our first cut. I have my ground clamp securely attached. Not gonna make that mistake again. Let's do it. Alright, so I'm cutting this out and uh, I, I, may, I may have mentioned early on that, uh, you know, it's a little bit difficult, I found out, uh, cutting diamond plate with a plasma cutter. I think it's the, you know, two different heights that you have right there. You know, if, the, if, you know, if, if it's nice and smooth plate, the plasma cutter just burns right through there perfectly. It's a nice clean cut, but I found that it was a little bit difficult and I would imagine it's because, I don't really know, maybe the plasma cutter can't decide if it's cutting thin or thick because it jumps from a thin part to a thick part. Nevertheless, um, it was a clean cut. It just took a little extra effort to uh, to get the, the piece off of there. But, uh, you know, hey, once I got it off of there, you can see it's a, it's a pretty clean cut. Just going to require just a little bit of grinding. And then uh, I'm just cutting a little niche out uh, for the hydrant itself that comes out of the vault. And again, I'm just, uh, you're, you're seeing how, I, how this thing cuts really clean, but still doesn't quite get through I had to I had to go back in a couple of corners and uh, and be sure I cut things all the way through before it, uh, it fell out and just finishing up the bracing here I got a brace that uh, needed to put in the center right there so we got that welded out and uh, once we did that and got things ground down it's time to put the diamond plate on and and the same thing here um, I'm just stitch welding this about every uh, eight inches apart about an inch and a half weld uh, I did that both inside and outside and uh, then grinded everything down um, as I needed on the outside. And then uh, it was time to put the hinge on. And You know, these piano hinges are awesome. Uh, you can just cut these things anywhere you want the length, and they work perfectly. 
and uh, you know it worked out really good this is this pretty heavy duty stuff right here the biggest biggest hinge I've ever worked with but uh, once I got everything uh, tacked into place and adjusted right where I needed to uh, I just flipped it over and clamped everything down and uh, went ahead and just welded that out and that uh, worked out perfectly so there are a couple of doors done and the one thing left to do is I had to put some handles on this thing and so I had some U-bolts left around in my shop and I just cut the thread apart off and uh, and just welded these things into position and uh, so they're going to make so they can lift them up easily or run a chain or lock through it whatever they want to do there they are complete pretty cool well, then it was time to paint. Now, uh, this is some primer, some some new metal primer. It's called. Uh, you know, I've never used it before, but it's supposed to be for new metal. Once I got everything all primed out, I went ahead and painted everything black. Well, after priming and painting everything black, looking really good, I just found out they're supposed to be red. Yeah, red. What a surprise! It's always something with me. But hey, nevertheless, it uh, nothing it doesn't hurt to have a couple of extra good. Uh, coats of paint on there all in all this project turned out pretty good I took them over they just dropped right into place perfectly I just welded the hinges right in and it was a perfect fit uh, despite the mistake that we made on the one door so I was pretty excited about that um, job turned out great hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe for more videos see you next time on Jimbo's Garage